Hello, my friends. Since I made that video on the Pittsburgh taco, I've been having a craving to have it again, but it takes so much work. I decided to uh, speed it up a little bit and make a few changes. So let me show you what I did. Start with the kibasi, and this work won't take much more than grilling a cheeseburger. Okay, we're going to start by grilling the kibasi. I'm going to prep it for the grill, which is just cutting it into manageable pieces. And these will be going like that. Okay, I popped the kibasi on the grill. Next thing we want to do is make our mashed potatoes. So I'm using my teapot, heating water up to a boil. And then I found this at Gordon Foods. And these are really, really good. They're uh, instant mashed potatoes. Now when you buy them at Gordon Foods, they come in a package and the instructions gives you um, how much water you mix with the entire bag. Well, I broke that down and it's a half a cup of uh, mashed potatoes to one cup of water. So basically two to one. So I don't quite need a half a cup. I'm using a third cup. So if I stay in that ratio, I'll use two of those. And uh, we're going to use some sauerkraut. So I have some here, and I want this hot also, so I am going to just heat this in the microwave. I have pre-cooked bacon, I'm going to use that, and instead of the uh, pierogi shell, I'm using flour uh, taco shells, and that will give a very similar flavor. Okay, I'm going to pop the uh, sauerkraut in the microwave. I put the instant mashed potatoes in a ceramic bowl and I'm waiting for the water to heat up. Oh, and then I'm going to use some sharp cheddar cheese on it. The water's hot. Two measures of hot water. Got to have some butter in the mashed potatoes. I have to have butter in the mashed potatoes. And a couple strips of bacon. There's three I pulled out. I'm going to stick that in the microwave for about 30 seconds. While that's cooking, I'm going to check on my kibasi. Uh, just the way I like them. Slightly burnt. Or as my dad would uh, say about his toast, he likes it scraped. Okay, the taco shells, we're going to heat them up on the grill. Okay, everything's cooked. Just a matter of putting it together. Now the bacon, I'm going to break it up or cut it into smaller chunks. Putting it in the microwave, I mean it's pre-cooked, but uh, that 30 seconds was enough to be able to make the bacon crumble. So, bacon's ready. The uh, kibasi. We're going to cut that into small chunks. I don't think I can scrape this kibasi or peel it. This uh, kibasi, the only reason it's burned is I'm going to attribute it to turning the cameras on and off. Okay, now when I'm going to load this up, this is making the pierogi. The potato with the flour dough. Okay, now we need some sauerkraut. This is all warmed up.
Okay, a little bit of bacon in there. And gotta have a little bit of cheese. And of course, the Polish kielbasa. Right there. Beautiful. Total time to do this is probably, uh, these are still hot too. Um, total time is probably 10 to 15 minutes. It's 12.40 and that I guess is my lunch time. Let's see how she tastes. Mm. I'll have this any day over a cheeseburger. And not much more work either. Fit to eat. Thanks for watching, my friends. Bye bye.